Okay, so we learned some ways to edit things, but um, what I want you guys to try out is grabbing just a polygon plane, which is this, so that you can try out these next tools here. So go ahead and you can just click that. And I personally like to scale it up a little bit, so I'll hit the R key and grab the yellow block and scale it, the middle block there, scale it up. You guys can do this, or you can do it on another shape, but I think the polygon plane is the easiest. Um, you'll notice on the right side here we have a, well, set of menus. It might, yours might look like this, um, but there are tabs here, along here, and they're gonna do different things as we um, use different tools, okay? So right now, um, it might say the channel box or layer editor, but um, we want to go to the tab that says modeling toolkit, okay? Uh, what's up? Okay, the modeling toolkit here is, um, Oh, this window that goes on the side, you can pull this window out when it wants to cooperate. You can pull it out to get a little more space if you need it. Um, yeah. Anyways, the modeling toolkit uh, offers you a lot of different options. So these are quick little buttons you can hit. There's your Boolean operations. Uh, the, you know, we'll talk about these combine and separate and whatnot in the future. Today, we're worried about the components menu, okay? Um, and the tools, we'll worry about those too. But uh, components menu here is gonna offer you some quick options. The most notable being the extrude option. So if I hit extrude here, um, it's gonna allow me to either pull faces into existence from, um, you know, it says pulls new polygons from existing faces, edges, or vertices. So you can actually extrude a vertex if you desire. But for me, I like to go to edge mode, right? I told y'all I liked edge mode. So if I go to edge mode and I select an edge, okay, and I go over to my um, modeling toolkit here and I choose extrude, I get arrows that pop up on this edge. And if I pull on those arrows, I get an extruded um, edge, makes a new polygon surface, right? And if I do it again, and I pull on those arrows, I make another polygon surface. It's like, okay, we're over here on the right side of your screen in the modeling toolkit tab. And all I did was I went to edge mode and I selected an edge and hit the whoa, extrude button. Okay, so we can make all kinds of cool stuff with that, right? You could, you could double click on an edge to select the whole line and then extrude using that. So you could extrude like a whole, a whole wall out of, out of uh, one of those lines, right? Uh, the other really, for today, notable, um, notable tool there is bridge. So you'll have to try extrude out to kind of figure it out, but bridge is also important. So when we're editing in here, um, let me see if I can, I can delete edges if I so desire, right? But I can also go to face mode and I could delete faces if I desire. A little different than fusion here on how it handles this kind of thing, okay? So we could have holes in our mesh, right? Now, if we want to repair those holes, um, we're going to want to use the bridge command, right? Bridge, uh, if you hover over it, it'll tell you what it does. Creates bridging faces between selected edges or faces. So if I click on bridge and I select in edge mode, some faces or I'm um, sorry, edges that have a gap between them, such as this edge here and this edge. Um, I'm gonna hold shift and select them and I'll hit bridge. And with any luck, 
you make a face between them. So if you've deleted a face or you've made a new area that needs, um, needs some faces, that's a great way to go. For example, if I were making something out of this area that I extruded earlier, in edge mode, I could click on that very um, top most edge there, and I could also shift click, so sh holding shift in order to select multiple things at once. I could click one of these other edges and use the bridge tool. Oh, no luck. I'll have to delete some faces around it. Um, you'll have to choose faces that don't have um, two or more, or I'm sorry, edges that don't have two or more faces coming out. Anyways, if I select that edge and that edge, I can make a connection between them, right? It's, it, um, it's vital to be able to bridge and to be able to extrude, okay? So you have to practice that um, for a little while. This will come into play when we're doing mesh editing, which will be the majority of what we do.